Hello and welcome back to the shop. It's a wonderful, beautiful, hot and humid day down here. Uh, I just want to give a review uh, and show the installation of the new boat cover I just got. This is my second one. Uh, this is just a little Harbor Master trailer bowl boat cover. Works pretty good. Uh, there's different sizes, as you see. This is B size. This one is for a 17 to 19 foot uh, V hole. So, as you see right here, it works for normal uh, ski boats, fishing boat, and uh, anything with a V hole. So, uh, I actually uh, I've had this cover once before. This cover does very well towards keeping stuff in the weather out uh the downsides i'll show you that as well um but uh i have traveled with it i've traveled about uh i'd say about eight hours with the boat cover on at highway speeds and everything else uh it works very well towards uh keeping everything in and nothing coming out uh it manages heat pretty well uh, doesn't hold in a whole lot of mildew that I've seen. Um, so, uh, the only thing I can say is, uh, my last one, it sat in the sun for a long, long time. Uh, so it got kind of deteriorated from the heat and the sun and dried out. And just like anything that you leave in the sun for days on end, it dries out and ends up to where it just starts tearing and gets real brittle uh i ended up moving the boat one day and ripping the side off because i accidentally ran over one of the straps uh not a good idea if it didn't sit in the sun as long as it did i'd still have it um but it's easy put on very easy to store uh comes in a little bag uh, and I'll show you all that and show you how this thing actually installs and how simple it is with one person. Uh, it doesn't take a whole lot of time and it uh, keeps everything in and everything else out that you don't want it in. So, um, but it does have a couple of little faults in it. It is the cheaper version of certain things. It, uh, I mean, you can get it from Walmart for 50, 60 bucks, so it's really not that expensive, but it's worth the money and worth your time to go get it if you have a boat that sits out in the weather whatsoever. Even being under a carport, it helps keep the dust and debris out. So uh, let me open this thing up and uh, let's uh, take a look. So. All right, dump all this stuff out. All right, so, so you got a bag of straps. This bag of straps actually holds the cover down. So you're gonna need that. And then this is the cover. You'll never get it in this bag as tight as it is now. Uh, they only make them one way and once you take it out of here, it's just like most other things. Once you take it out of the bag, that's it. You don't ever stick it back in the bag because uh, they just don't fit. But. It comes with this little cool carrying bag that you might use one day again. I've got my old one. But material on it is nice. It reflects the, uh, the light and everything else to keep heat out. Uh, it's pretty thick. It's uh, not as thick as some things. Like whenever you're looking at certain uh, materials and everything, you're looking for the, uh, I don't know how you spell it, denier. So it's 150. And most things are, I don't know, two, four, six hundred, a thousand. Um, but this is 150, so it's not, not like sandstorm, hurricane durable, but it works through rain and wind and just mild debris. So let's get out there and uh, I'll show you it laid out and we'll get it put on.
All right. First, whenever you roll this out, you will see that uh, it has this little cover on it. This is the front section goes over it. So it keeps the nose good from ru not rubbing against the fabric too much. Second, you'll see more once it gets on. It's got these little vent holes right here. These vent holes have a little cover, as you see, it goes in there and it vents out the hot air and any pressure so you don't just blow it off. So, uh, I'll show you how easy this is to put on real quick and we'll get it done. So, let's do it. All right, as you see, it's on. So, cover goes on quite well, and you can kind of see the stitching. I don't know if y'all can, but that's where the nose goes to the boat. Uh, coming down the way, one bad thing is whenever you have a bimini top or anything else like that, you have this little hook right here. Stuff under here, you can't see it really good. Let's do this. Right there, it sticks up. Well, over time, it can rub a hole right there. That happened in my last one. Uh, back here where the ladder is this does not have any protection over this so these rub they shouldn't but they do there's no protection over that coming over on this side same thing as the other side this little nub rubs all right once all that rubs it rubs a big old hole in it once it dries out and everything uh, another thing when traveling Hard to show you right now. Let's see, let's take this. Out. All right, let's hop on up here. Oh, when traveling, this wonderful, wonderful part of the boat uh, for the hinge for the window right here. Uh, this one actually has a little couple of nicks in it to where it has edges. Well, these edges need to be taken care of, or I need to put something over this as of some rubber or something because I've had the other one, the other cover, actually get rubbed right here and rubbed a hole into as I traveled. But as it sits here, and I leave it up here, it doesn't do that. It's just the wind gets to it. And that's how it ends up getting holes in it. And as you see, there's one person Pretty simple, just to put a cover on it. I'm not gonna use the straps today, but as you see, every black tab has a place for a strap. So it has quite a few straps. Oh, let's look at these straps. So these straps are very simple. All they are is a round little clip strap with a pull cord on it. So, show you on a flat surface, the easier ones. Just go up under, go through, and clip it together. Once you do that, you just snug it down. If you're doing the highway thing like I've done, you want to snug it down as much as possible. As you see, it starts conforming to the boat. The conforming to the boat is good, unless you have things that rub. The other part, the other problem with this cover, there is nothing that goes across the bow right here. And as you saw, there's a big old hole. When you have this outside in the rain, rain starts getting right in the middle of this. And it goes down and down and heavier and down. And then it starts turning colors and it will eventually leak through the fabric. Uh, I've had this happen more than once where I had to bail all the water out and it wasn't pleasant it wasn't fun uh, so my suggestion would be build a device out of pvc or something that you can take back apart and put in the compartments anytime you're traveling or you just want to put it away after use uh, just a contraption to hold the cover up and brace it to where the rain dissipates from the sides or the front but it doesn't hold in the middle right here as a pool. So, 
Um, but other than that, those little bitty uh, negatives, uh, I can't say anything else other than I love this cover. This cover works perfect for my situation and what I want. And now that we are in my carport, boat port, uh, it just keeps the debris off of it and the dust. So with it being like that, uh, it's not going to be heat soaked and it's not going to deteriorate from the sun. Um, like I said, I've traveled for over eight hours on the interstate with this cover and I've had an inner tube on the back fully aired up and it was about up to here. Ice chest, uh, did not have one issue with uh, traveling with it. Um, so if you're in the realm of a boat cover, uh, a Harbor Masters boat cover, I, I give it a big thumbs up for the deal of what you can get for $50 and keeping your boat clean on the inside and safe from the weather. Uh, just, it, it's a great boat cover, especially for traveling. That was one of the biggest things I had uh, a need for is if I ever went somewhere uh, distance wise and wanted to pack the boat completely full uh, have a cover for it to keep everything in it and like I said the wind and the rain and any other debris out of it so um, one last look at it yeah alright so that was uh, my little review of uh, the Harbor Master trailer bolt boat cover. Uh, I would suggest if you have a boat of any sort, look into getting you a boat cover of any means. Uh, whatever fits your budget. This may, this may not. You might want a more expensive one that lasts a few more years. This does have a three year warranty, as you see. Um, it fits for me. $50 a year is much better than having to clean out a boat every single time you store it or uh, trying to get the leaves out and the debris or even traveling, uh, even going an hour away, putting everything in it, hoping it stays in and hoping it doesn't fly out on the highway or interstate. Uh, but that's my review of the Harbor Master. So. If you like these videos, like them. If you don't, give me a thumbs down. Tell me uh, what you want me to change, what you want me to look at, what you want me to do. Uh, I'm all ears. Get you a cool shirt like this. It's hot. Thank you for all who have subscribed. Anybody else that wants to help me out, subscribe. That's all you gotta do. You don't even have to click the notification button uh, or bell. If you don't want to, uh, it helps. Can't hurt. But if you just like watching this content for just a little bit of knowledge and that's it, give me a subscribe. Give me just a like. Give me a comment. Anything helps. It goes a long way. I'm not asking for money. But if you want to provide, just buy some merchandise off Teespring. Uh, hit me up on Instagram. Give me some likes on Instagram. Follow me. Uh, Facebook, same thing. That all helps and goes towards the fact of giving knowledge, giving reviews, projects, more projects, more projects. So, till next time.